Hola guys, just got out of seeing the spinal specialist. Um, they're looking at doing some spinal stimulation operation or whatever. Uh, we're just waiting here back on the insurance company. And uh, yeah, so insurance company's gonna take about a week to evaluate her condition, uh, whether or not the operation is a go. Um, downside is uh, the doctor did say it, it's literally Baroness's only last option is this spinal stimulation surgery. Um, apparently it's really big in Australia uh, and England and other countries like that. So if ironically, ironically, if we were in England, she'd already have the surgery. But where we live in the good old US of A where we're supposed to have freedoms, you know, where we're supposed to have uh, freedoms, that's a different story. And yes, I had a shave uh, from the other, one this morning. All right. Ah. And the new plates. Ta -ta. New plates came today. So uh, I've got a job when we get home to put those on. Uh, we're going to stop off at our local Desert Industries, or DI for short, to uh, pick up some spare blankets and pillows and a few other things. And maybe, uh, uh, maybe a new chair for my office. Because uh, we got the Jeep today, so we figured, yeah, yeah. We got the Jeep today, so I figured, why the heck, you know, take a look, see what they got. I might like to have a really nice, beautiful freaking office chair in there, you know. And I'll struggle to get it in the truck. But yeah, um, that's uh, literally it. That is it, pretty much. Um, they said, Dr. Beecher, he's uh, literally uh, Utah's num um, damn near number one spinal specialist expert. Spinal pain specialist. Yeah, spinal pain specialist. And um, he actually said that uh, this operation, this spinal stimulation or whatnot, I'll post links in the video description if you guys want to read up on it. Um, is quite literally her last recourse if she wants to keep any kind of feeling whatsoever in her legs. Um, Unfortunately, it's not a guarantee that my insurance will pay for it. Exactly, this is the big thing, and so I may end up having to do like a charity, charity stream or something where you guys will have to, you know, kind of chip in if you can, sort of thing, you know. Maybe even start like a GoFundMe or a Kickstarter or something. Uh, I don't know yet. We're, we're, me and the Baroness are talking about that because that's a level of privacy that, that we haven't been comfortable with. The reason why I don't talk about my wife's disability or anything during the live streams and whatnot is because the Baroness doesn't want you guys to feel sorry for her. It's her bloody pride. Bite me. Alright, uh, where it went, hell hard. <laughs> that that look was a shut the hell up look, so I will. Um, but it, like I said, guys, that's why we don't really talk about. Um, we've got two coming on my side. You got a text. Actually, three, sorry, four. You got a cell phone call. You got a cell phone call. And so. Yeah, pretty much that's what's uh, going on. And like I said, it's the one of the reasons why we don't talk about um, Baroness's uh, disability or, or whatnot. Van, my side van. It's okay, I've got two over here playing chicken with each other. Traffic, you know. So that's why we don't really talk about it. It's a privacy issue. Um, again, I don't like to talk about other people's private lives. So um, I'm gonna leave, just leave that there. Needless to say, um, Baroness is on a new, new regiment uh, of uh, pills. I'm not gonna say what they are or anything, but you know, we're gonna go on from there. Uh, we've got an appointment to see him again next month. We're just lucky that the fact that he's not charging us his consultation fees which are like $3,000 plus. Literally, he's doing the majority of this pro bono. It's just, we've got to pay for like the tests and the scans and whatnot. 
and our insurance will only cover X amount, you know. Um, so, you know, fingers crossed, you know, you know, knock on wood, you know, somehow I get a huge freaking windfall or something, you know, I can win the lottery or whatever. But uh, for now, uh, no news, as they say, is good news. And I say ignorance is bliss. You know, so uh, I'm gonna leave this vlog here, guys, and I will see you in the next part, probably after our uh, spree of DI. So, uh, see you then, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. We're on our way home. Cobra almost shit himself. <laughs> Laugh it up, first ball. Baroness was putting petrol in the Jeep. Baroness overfilled the gas tank in the Jeep. Petrol everywhere. I stink of petrol. Jeep stinks of petrol. Had to push Jeep away from gas station. Cause big bada boom. Look under, see if there's a hole in gas tank. No hole in gas tank. Big fucking clump of wires though covered in petrol thanks to a certain person who overfilled the gas tank sitting here going she turns that key there's a spark Kaboo! where's Cobra is over there over there and up there <laughs> where's Baroness she ran that way Baroness is looking for a new Cobra now <laughs> So, call up a friend of mine, whole family, nothing but Dodge, nothing but Mopar, it's all they do. Laughing at Cobra on the phone, saying no, it's just a vent tube, she overfilled, vent tube's cleared it out, is it dripping petrol anymore, or gas? No, and he goes, wait five minutes for the rest of the gas on the outside of the tank to evaporate, and then turn the key and go home. Cobra sitting here very impatiently cobra's going can you just come and get us cobra sits here put seatbelt on looking at baroness like a sad puppy <laughs> waiting for that key to turn and click boom ah! no boom no ah! you know cobra in 20 million pieces yet there's always a gap. There's always a butt. Well, if you're gonna tell the whole story, you might as well start from when it started running out of gas because the kids didn't tell us when we bought it that the gas tank gave we're going, off. We're going uphill. I was just thinking maybe it's fuel starvation, you know? Dirty injector or something. No. So we've got to have the gas needle adjusted. Burn! I get to play with petrol! I'm gonna have no eyebrows left. I'm gonna have no facial hair left. Love it. And to all you sick bastards that watch these vlogs, and sit there laughing, going, you're a scrub. <laughs> know that this scrub knows how to drive something as big as that thing. Only mine had more armor and a big fucking gun. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. Take that. Put more armor on it. Big ol' fucking... Ran my tall 120 millimeter cannon. Who's laughing now? Me. Shut <laughs> You'll end up as the fucking hood ornament. You think? Why not? Try me. Oh, you'll never have a cannon that big in between your legs. You're married to me. Obviously. Oh, burn. <laughs> What do you want me to do? Argue with you? Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> Not at all. I wonder why I was uh, 
It was either an exhaust leak or it's a fuel issue because I'm getting high as a kite now. So, <laughs> and I'm not opening up this fucking window because I can't because the exhaust is literally right behind this fucking door. <coughs> oh, by the way, and I took a look at the exhaust. There's nothing holding the exhaust up. <laughs> so yay. No, they passed it. I get to fuck around with an exhaust too. He just can't wait to get the expedition back. I want my baby. I want my battle wagon. No, no offense to you, Wu, which is the name of the Jeep now. The Jeep's name is Wu. No offense to you, Wu, but I miss Ryo. It's no offense to Ellie May either. I miss, I miss Ryo. Ellie May. See, look, the Jeep, the Jeep wants me to die now. It's locked the doors. <laughs> See? Hey guys. See? So we made it home. Well, we're in town. Wife's gone to Boyd's family pharmacy to pick up her medications. And I'm heading to the post office to pick up my mail. Uh, there's the Emily County Food Bank. Um, yeah. I am stressed to fuck because there's something about the Jeep that I know that I haven't told the wife about yet. Um, the rear axle's going out in the truck. Um, when I got down there to look at the petrol tank, uh, I put my hand on the pumpkin, uh, which is the center of the axle, and it was like touching an oven. In fact, I've got a couple of blisters. I, I actually have a couple of blisters uh, on my Hey. So yeah, oh look. Oh, it's too large to go into the post office. The post box. Ta ta ta. Hello, postmaster. Here to pick up a package. Too big for the box. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Holy crap, that's yep. a lot of candy. There you go. I'm gonna kill my roommate. I'm gonna go. Uh, she goes this bloody candy club thing, guys. So. And D, that's. Yeah. Sherry Brigham, Sherry Brigham. guys oh. so yes picked up stuff for this, that but anyway uh, yeah I touched the rear main, main pumpkin and damn it burnt my fingertips it was that hot plus I'm hearing a grinding noise at low speed not high speed which tells me it is the pumpkin because that's when the low gears kick in uh, also, when she tries to do a sharp turn on the driver's side, it, do, 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 it, it stutters, which tells me it's the driver's side axle that's causing the heat build-up, which possibly means bearing, back, rotary, it, it, it's something in that back axle. Uh, which means, uh, yeah, great, $1,400 in a bank loan down the fucking drain for a truck that's probably not going to even last us this month. And if it does, it'll be a fucking miracle. But again, that's something that I haven't told the Baroness. And I'm not going to until Ryo is home. That's our expedition. Until Ryo is home, safe and sound. Is she still pissing? Gas? She is. Yay! That's all we need. I'll put you up here, guys. Hi. That's it. So I'm going to go in and go check. And I'll be back in the next bit. Bye, guys. Hi guys, it's 4 a.m. I'm currently on Discord with Grim and Pandemics. And so they're gonna they're gonna kinda get a, a 
brief intro to this. Um, I just tweeted directly at Donald Trump. And I'm serious, guys. I will show you the tweet directly here. Right there. At real Donald Trump, I would like con to congratulate you on becoming leader of the free world. Now, how about those private military contracts or no? Question mark. <laughs> I would shit a fucking brick if he actually responded and said, yes, yeah, send me the send me the contact details. I would quite literally shit a brick because I would I would start a PMC and call it Cobra Nation. And we would all wear Cobra uniforms. I'm I'm serious. I would end up finding a I would end up finding a Scotsman and naming him Destro just because, just just because you know. It don't mind like it'd probably be Renton, or or fucking Spud from Train Spotting. <laughs> but 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 uh, uh, like I said, it's four a.m. Uh, when I got home, I knew I told you guys I was gonna I, I was gonna record and, and talk to you guys about what, what happened at the hospital and the doctor's appointment and whatnot. But guys, I was so tired. Okay, I literally fell asleep in my chair twice when I got home. I was just totally shagged out. So I grabbed myself a couple of aspirin and a melatonin, and I passed out for like a, nine, ten hours. Just I was gone to the world. The world could be on fire, and I would wake up in hell, and I'd be like, meh, oh well. No, I just had no care in the world. None. Just no care whatsoever in the world. And so, long story short, um, Baroness's health is... I, I, one second, guys. Honey, is it okay if I talk about your health? Yeah. Okay. Um... Baroness is doing really bad, guys. I mean, real bad. Uh, the specialist we spoke to today, he suggested a surgery procedure called spinal stimulation, where they will literally have to drill holes through the whole of her spine and insert an electrical device, very similar to a pacemaker. And what it will do is it will put, send pulses through her spine not to kill the nerve, but to overly saturate the nerve to the point where the nerve will, will, where her brain will eventually shut the nerve off so she's not in pain. Basically, when she starts, when she realizes she's in so much pain, she turns the device on, it overly saturates the nerve, and then that nerve shuts down uh, through exhaustion. And so she's, she's shooting it. And the problem with that is she will lose all feeling completely in her, in her leg. So she won't be able to feel her leg at all whatsoever. None. She won't be able to feel a fucking thing, not a goddamn thing. Problem is the surgery isn't covered by our insurance. It's not. And no, I'm not, I'm not gonna start begging you guys for money. That's not how I work, you know this guys. I, I, where there's a will, there's a way, okay? The fact that this surgeon is even looking at her case pro bono, okay? He's not charging our, our insurance, he's not charging us anything. All we've got to pay for is exams, like uh, x-rays, uh, uh, CT scans, things like that. We've just got to pay for those out of pocket, which my wife's insurance will cover, so we've got to co-pay on that. And, but the actual surgery itself is really hard to get approved. Um, it is 100% approved in Australia, England, Canada, and various other countries, just not America yet, because it's still considered experimental. Now, the pervert in me would say, hey, my wife's now a cyborg, because technically she will reach the definition of a cyborg, which is a augmented human body. Her body will be augmented. Her spinal cord will be augmented. But the downside to that is um, the device itself has to be uh, 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 put in like it's kind of like a, an, an insulin pump. Uh, how insulin pumps have to be carried in basically like a fanny pack. Um, her device will have to be carried on her at all times, at all times. And so I'm gonna have to make sure that work on the maintenance on like keep the battery charged and things like that and whatnot. Um, also, she'll be on M uh, MU suppressants the rest of her life which means I won't be able to go to any conventions or comic cons or anything else like that. Because if I go and get sick and come home 
she's on on immune uh, on human immunity suppressors, which means there's a chance that when she will get sick, it will be even worse, to the point where it could kill her. And I'm just not. I I just would not want to run that sort of risk. You know, I love my wife. I would not. I I'm not going to run that risk. But um, long story short. Uh, on the 16th, she goes in at 8 a.m. to have her teeth impre teeth impressions made. And um, the dentist that she spoke to has decided to pull all of her teeth, every single one of them, because she suffers from brittle, brittle bone disease. And it has now affected her, de her teeth. It has nothing to do with the fact that she doesn't brush her teeth or anything. I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth every day before you know when I get up and before I go to bed I brush my damn teeth you guys have seen me through a live stream I'm sitting here eating a salad I grab a toothpick I'm cleaning my teeth I'm constantly cleaning my teeth you know everyone's like for a British guy you've got really good teeth I'm like what are you saying that every English person has bad teeth stop watching Jeremy Kyle for fuck's sake you know not 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 every English person has bad teeth okay look at Jason Statham would you say he's got bad teeth no because he'd throat punch you you know, say, say the same to Vinnie Jones. No, he'd fucking throat punch you. You know? Yeah, exactly. Northerners. Fucking northern monkeys. Anyway, look, long story short, guys, Baroness's health is bad. Okay? This is why I started cutting back my stream hours from five days a week to three days. Because, again, Tuesdays, it's physical therapy with my wife. Thursdays, it's appointments. We, we tried to set up her appointments so they're on a Thursday. So, you know, it, uh, constant, it, it, the reason why we do that is because the majority of her doctors are, are not in the town that we live. We have to go to another town. And, and so we go there and we try to set the appointments up. So we've got maybe like half hour to an hour in between each appointment. That way, you know, paperwork has to be filed or anything else like that. Pre-approval on medications, whatever, you know. Um, and sometimes I do get some time to grab the camera, as you saw in one of my previous vlogs, and have breakfast with one of my friends who I haven't seen in damn near a year. I haven't seen my friend Otto face to face in almost a year. And you guys got to see me hanging out with him. That's, that's how busy and hectic my schedule is, unless they come to my front door. And even then, I don't, with, my Bar with Baroness's health being the way it is, I say to them, you can't come in the house, guys, because, you know, my wife's, you know, right now, the reason why you're hearing her cough and whatnot is because she's starting a new regiment of medications and she's going through issues with them. And literally, come 7.30, 8 a.m., I've got to call her doctor and say, Doc, she's having issues with this new meds you, you prescribed her. You know, and, 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 and whatnot. And um, so, yeah, like I said, guys, I'm, I'm super busy. It's not because I don't love you all. Guys, I love every single one of you guys. I love you all with a hole in my heart. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I feel blessed and I am blessed. I, I feel lucky and I am lucky that I know every single one of you. I, I, I go out of my way to try and get to know every single one of you personally. Not a single person, not a single person on my Facebook group or my Steam group or my my subreddit or wherever can say that I messaged you and you never messaged me back or I messaged, tweeted at you and you never tweeted me back or whatever. I go out of my way to be a very social person, as social as I can be. And I mean, literally during my live streams come into my twitch chat say hi cobra i will say hello back you know i i will go out of my way way out of my way to be as friendly and social and kind as i can because that's just the person i am i'm thankful and grateful for every single one of you guys i really am um i am I did think about doing like a GoFundMe or a Patreon or something like that to help cover the, the cost of the medical procedures and things like that and whatnot. And that is still something that me and the Baroness are talking about because it is a very personal thing. We are putting 
a lot of things online for you guys to scrutinize us of. And that's the thing. There are people that go to GoFundMes, to, to Patreons, to wherever, and all they do is criticize. You know, they, they say, oh, oh, get a job, fat ass, you know, and stuff like this and, and whatnot. Guys, one of the reasons why uh, 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 the Baroness doesn't do Twitch or anything else anymore is because people used to come into her stream and give her hate. Show us your tits and all this stupid shit. Yeah, she's a woman. Yeah, she's a female. Yeah, she games. She doesn't need that. She doesn't need that attitude. You okay? Uh, Are you okay? I hope so. We'll throw up again. I mean, do you need anything? Not right this second. If I need something, I'll let you know. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? <coughs> Stubborn. But like I said, guys. Yeah, I know, Grim. Um, but like I said, guys, um, this is why I've this is why I've started to do vlogs. This is why I've started to do vlogs, guys, and stuff. And it, 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 it's content-wise, it doesn't mean I'm, I'm done doing like War Thunder content or H&G content or anything like that. I'm not. I, I'm still going to put up like. Uh, uh, I've actually been talking to a lot of the guys on Facebook and on Discord and whatnot, and they want me to start doing. Um, they want me to. St that is the most gross sound ever. Anyway, they want me to start doing a replay. They want me to start doing uh, War Thunder replay roundups again. And. That's just horrible, man. Ugh. That's the Baroness throwing up in the bathroom, guys. No, she's actually she's actually projectile vomiting right now, like like the poltergeist. Yeah, it's really bad. And mm, and so lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's she, trust me. She she's not she's not like bulimic. She doesn't put her fingers down her throat or anything. Trust me. That's the medica That's her new pain medications that she's taking because of her back and leg pains, guys. If you guys don't know, my wife suffers from sp spinal lumbar stenosis and and brittle bone disease. And basically, what it is is her her bones are are so deteriorated that it's like glass. If, if she's coughing, I can't pat her on the back out of fear that I'm going to break one of her bones. And uh, lumbar spinal stenosis is a genetic disorder. She got it from her father. Um, basically, her the, the bones in her spine, her actual, her actual vertebrae, uh, are, are, are cutting into her sciatic nerves in her spine. Which is which causes leg numbness, which causes arm thing. I mean, I've literally seen her lose all feelings in her arms and her legs and 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 whatnot while we're driving, and I've literally had to t hold the steering wheel while doing like seventy miles an hour. Mm -hmm. That. Yeah, that, that that's why I'm working on getting my driver's license. My I've got I've got a British driver's license, and that's okay for me to rent a car, but it's not enough for me to own or operate a, a motor vehicle for more than 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 30 days in the United States. So I am looking at, at getting some driver's ed experience and whatnot under my belt and stuff like like that, guys. Which is why I want to get the focus up and running because I want to do, get do my driver's ed in the focus. You know, and um, 
so I, I, again like I said I, I'm just uh, again I'm not putting anything on you guys on the vlog or you guys on discord but um, the, a lot of people keep asking me why did I cut down my stream days now you actually know okay I'm not hiding I'm not lying I've never hidden or lied to any of you guys in the nation okay I am a very busy man I've got two teenage daughters I've got a very sick wife I've got you know I've got responsibilities outside of Twitch, outside of YouTube gaming, outside of Hitbox, outside of everything else online. I do have uh, 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 um, responsibilities outside of everything. And, and don't get me wrong, do not get me wrong. Do you think I don't wanna sit here and just entertain you guys and, 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 and bring in donation? And that's another thing. Um, with me cutting back my, my streaming days, my donations have literally just dropped in half. To the point where I'm now paying about 50 to 90 bucks a month just to stay streaming it's actually costing me money I'm not making any money it's costing me money to stream okay and again I do it because I love you guys I do it because I want to okay so everyone everyone keeps saying, oh you're just a sellout Cobra you're doing it for the money you're doing this for the no I'm not I am not doing this for the fucking money okay yeah i got a one-time big donation from jinxie that did help that that believe it or not that helped pay for 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 uh, 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 some house maintenance a new a new that literally 90 percent of that donation went straight uh uh, uh. <laughs> and now my cousin just messaged me <laughs> And so, uh, um, like I said, that's my cousin Diane. I love her to death. Um, but like I said, guys, um, I'm not in it for the money. I don't do it for the money. When I get a donation, I ask the person who donated me, what do you want that money to go to? If they say put it towards this game or put it towards this or that, whatever, that's where it goes. It doesn't go anywhere else. Yes, I did have to dip into the graphics card fund to help buy a car because my wife's truck is in the shop and it's still going to be there for at least a month which is what the shop's saying and I'm like, it's a drive line I can go to a fucking junkyard and oh, there's a complete transfer case now oh, it's a transfer case now, which is horse shit because I know that transfer case is fucking bulletproof but anyway guys, um, like I said ho, ho, and we've got this jeep and the Jeep does have some issues, you know. It, it's a 97, it's it, it, it's gonna have issues, okay? Um, the Focus needs a new alternator and new battery, and I just don't have the money to do that right now. Um, the, the Pontiac needs a new thermostat and a new hose. Yeah, those are two very cheap parts. I just don't have the time to put the parts in yet. I will probably this weekend, but like I said, we just need at least, yeah. Uh, if that's what you want to do, mate, what I'll do is I'll probably uh, uh, push her in, on, in, onto the back of the property so the city doesn't bitch. Because right now she's sitting on site, she's sitting outside the house. You know what I mean? Mhm. Mm Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Um, and I'm not sure if you guys heard that on the wet on the video camera, but Grim just said, "Don't worry about fixing the Pontiac. He'll he'll help me when he gets down." Thank you, Grim. That's that's incredibly grateful, brother. Thank you. A uh, big shout out to Johnny Three Tears. Johnny, thank you so much for your generous, 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 generous help that you 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 offered to me. Um, and basically, what it is is, guys, um, he he heard about my graphics card uh, fund. Uh, being used elsewhere and wanted to know what was the graphics card I wanted um, it was an NVIDIA 1060 uh, 6 gigabyte version and everyone's like why the 1060 why not a 1070 or a 1080 I don't have 1080 money I don't have 1070 money a 1060 was in my budget and it gives me really good performance for what I wanted for the for the live stream you know and so I sent him a link to 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 the graphics card and then he sent me a tracking order. He actually bought. He actually. 
he actually bought the graphics card and sent me the tracking code for it, the tracking order for it, so I can just... Yeah, he is a legend. He is an absolute legend. Thank you for that, Pandemics. He is a legend. And so it will be here um, 12th, 13th-ish, if not sooner. Um, but I'm just totally blown away by your generosity. I really am. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Like I said, that card is going straight in in the gaming machine. The 750 that's in there is going to get pulled and put in the encoding machine. And the 660 GTX that I have, I'm going to pull that and I'm going to do I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm actually going to give it away to you guys at the nation here in the nation. I've still got the box for it. The box is right up there. See the MSI Twin Frozer GTX 660. It's right there. DirectX 11 compatible and everything else uh, and I'm going to give it away I'm I'm going to literally give it away I'm gonna do a giveaway it's gonna be a month-long giveaway you know I'm gonna start it on like the first of like December or something and by the end of December like December 30th December 31st I will be giving away to one lucky winner I'll be giving away a 66 GTX graphics card now, no, most people are like, well, that's junk, that's this, that's that. I know some people that are using a 710, that are using graphics cards that that, 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 that are just absolute junk. Yeah, I'm running a damn GT 740. See, a 740. You know, like I said, yes, it's a, it's a Generation 6 graphics card, but it's DirectX 11. You know, it, it, it'll... Yeah, the GTX There you go. It even, it, Grim just r reminded me it's also a DirectX 12 card as well. So, hey, Wolf. Um, just just doing a vlog. Just doing a vlog right here real quick, Wolf. So, like I said, guys, um, now you know what's going on with the Baroness. Now you know what's going on, uh, why I'm not streaming five days a week, stuff like that. Um, I will be doing a more formal uh, video for YouTube um, where I sit down and it'll be, you know, full on you know i'll answer any of your questions in the comment section maybe do a follow-up video on it but for now um that that's where i'm gonna leave it okay guys i'm i'm if the baroness wants me to go into more detail about it i will but suffice to say we're looking at surgery here in the next three to six months and it's a surgery that's very 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 fucking expensive um we're looking at a hundred thousand dollars and change for this surgery and it's a surgery that isn't even approved by our insurance i'm not even gonna the baroness hasn't even filed the paperwork to send into her insurance because she's just we, we know we're just going to get denied we're going to get laughed at i i can't do that pandemics i would love to do that but that's just not me i've got too much pride you know and, and so but like i said um, I'm, I'm gonna still plug away and whatnot. I'm still gonna live stream the tattoo in and stuff like that for you guys. Yes, if you haven't, don't know already by now, guys. I actually live stream uh, how to use, you know, how to tattoo, you know, basic 101 tattooing things like that. Um, I even have, I'll, I'll even be having some of my some guests stop by during the live streams who are actual full on 100% honest to god fucking masters in their field. You know that that make the, the the judges on Ink Master look like fucking amateurs, um, and it'll be a wide range of styles from from Oriental to biomechanical to to, to tribal to pin up to to freaking literally you name it 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 will be it will be freaking out there guys and you know there'll be examples of their work and stuff like that and and yes i will even be live streaming me actually tattooing my some of my friends they've already signed the ndas they, they're happy with that there will be no nudity so it's not like tits or a dicks getting tattooed plus i don't do i don't tattoo genitalia guy I, i've answered that question live during one of my live streams as to why i don't uh, uh yeah well, well i need, all, all I need to say is bacon, <laughs> okay? But anyway, roast beef. yeah, roast beef, yeah, roast beef or bacon. But like I said, uh, long story short, um, 
I, I, I'm, I'm actually going to be take, ending this video here, guys, and getting ready to upload it. Uh, I will be going live today. Today's Wednesday. I will be going live today, playing a little bit of League of Legends, uh, maybe a little bit of Battlefield 1. I don't know yet. Um, I'll know basically after I've gone live. You'll see it'll be either War Thunder, Battlefield. It'll, it'll tell you what I'm playing. But either way, uh, I, I guarantee to you guys, you will be entertained. So all you new guys, and I, my, my YouTube channel has just grown like crazy. Uh, a big thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, seriously, we've almost broke 500 subscribers, guys. Uh, and I know to some channels, 500 subscribers, they make that in a day, you know. But uh, my, my, my goal is to at least get 500 subscribers by Christmas. That would be my Christmas present to myself. It's 500 of you guys hitting that subscribe button on YouTube. And I, I quite literally will just be blown away. All right, guys. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here and uh, throw it in sunny Vegas and uh, throw it up on YouTube. So uh, I'll see you guys later on today. Uh, on uh, uh, YouTube and Twitch. I live stream both to Twitch, get twitch.tv slash deceptive cobras and YouTube uh, gaming slash deceptive cobras. Uh, so, yeah, I double stream. I do a stream thanks to restream.io. Uh, so, again, guys, uh, I will see you then. Until then, keep your shows flying, keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out. Uh, and it, like, like just like Pandemic says, we hope for peace on the streets. And congratulations to President Trump. Uh, I didn't vote for you. I didn't vote for you. The wife didn't vote for you. And neither did we vote for Hillary. Okay, we voted third party. And no, a third party vote is not a wasted vote. Okay, I, I, my, my vote was a writing for Bernie Sanders. I'm not gonna lie, my writing was for a vote for Bernie Sanders. There, now you know who. Now you know who I was gonna vote for. So none of this whole I will be voting for Hillary Clinton. N none of that fucking Casey. I look like a troll in a basement and I said crap. Right. And I'm, I'm sorry, yes, I do have a bit of a big nose, right? I'm not going to lie. But fuck me, Casey Neistat looks like he got beat to death with an ugly bat and then brought back to life. But anyway, till then, guys, I will see you later on Twitch. Bye.